friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today's video is going to be a Trader Joe's grocery haul. I'll probably will show you guys what I got from Whole Foods as well. I might as well since I did go to Whole Foods as well. So I guess this will be a Trader Joe's slash Whole Foods haul. And also I'm going to be cleaning out my fridge. So the second part will be me cleaning out and organizing my fridge. But I probably won't do that until tomorrow because I literally have... 15 minutes to get all this put away before I have to pick up the kids from school. And then once I pick up the kids from school, I'm gonna be super busy because I have a lot of chores to do around the house. So I'll probably film that second part tomorrow, but today I'm gonna show you guys everything I got from the grocery store. Usually I only buy my like fruits, veggies, and meats from Whole Foods. And then everything else I will just buy from our local grocery store, which is Kroger because they have really good prices. But this week I did do all my grocery shopping at both Trader Joe's and Whole Foods just because I felt like they had a lot of really good deals at Whole Foods this week. And also I honestly did not want to make a third trip to a third supermarket. So I know I have a lot of leftover food in um, the pantry and also the fridge already. So I don't think we need to go to Kroger. I might have to go to Kroger later this week maybe to pick up some more waters for the kids' school lunches. But other than that, I think we are good. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys everything I got. Let me know if you guys like it better when you guys see my face and I show you guys everything or if you like it when I flip the camera around and just quickly go through the groceries um because sometimes I do it that way and then sometimes I just flip the camera but anyways enough of my rambling let me show you guys everything that I picked up all right guys so I'm gonna start off with Trader Joe's just because I didn't get as much from Trader Joe's than I did from Whole Foods so usually I would have everything like categorized and really neatly but like I said I'm on a time crunch so I'm gonna quickly go through all this so I love the cauliflower gnocchi. It is so good and I was craving it. That's the main reason why I went to Trader Joe's. So I did grab two bags since I don't go as often since Trader Joe's is like 45 minutes from my house. So I grabbed two bags of those and then I grabbed the kale gnocchi because I know I did try it when it first came out, but I just don't remember if I liked it as much as the cauliflower one. So I grabbed a bag of the kale one. I also found this balsamic vinegar and rosemary chicken. It's already grilled um, and cooked. So I thought that would be a really good um, choice for like a lunch or a dinner for like a lazy day. So I grabbed a box of that. I've also gotten this before and it's really good. It's a French style flatbread and it is so good. So for lunch, that is a good option. I also got this butternut squash mac and cheese. Me and Madison are the only ones who will eat this. The boys will not, but this is a good side or another quick lunch and me and Madison will eat that. I also got these roasted potatoes with peppers and onions. A lot of this stuff is just like quick lunches or quick sides, so I picked up that as well. I also found this dried pineapple rings and I've never tried it, so I want to go ahead and try that out as a more like healthier snack. I also picked up the kids these. These are double chocolate hot cocoa stirring spoons. So it's a chocolate little square with marshmallows and a spoon. You just add milk to it. So I grabbed one for Ryan and one for Madison. I also grabbed this. I know not the healthiest, but it looks so good. It's a part of like, I guess their fall stuff. So it is caramel apple flavored granola. And how good does that look? I'm so excited to try this out. So grabs that and I know the kids will like it as well. I also have never tried this, but I do love overnight oats. So I grabbed a vanilla overnight oats and it looks like that. And then I also grabbed this one and this one's almond butter and chia seeds. So both really quick breakfast ideas that I will have in the fridge. I also got this organic buffalo style hummus. I have had this before and it's really good. So I grabbed another little case of that. I grabbed this for my husband and for the kids and they are called Brookies. So the bottom half is brownie and then the top half is chocolate chip. So I'm not a big like brownie and chocolate chip person, I know. Um, so I probably won't eat any of this. Maybe if I'm desperate, I'll warm it up, but it's mostly for the kids and my husband. I also found these. I thought the kids might like. Is this not focused? Let me see. Okay, there we go. Um, I bought these for the kids to try, and they are just a granola bites. They're like little balls, and it's mixed fruit or mixed berries. So that'll be a good snack for the kids for school. 
I also picked up myself a kombucha because I haven't had kombucha for a really long time. I used to be obsessed, but I've never seen this flavor, strawberry lemonade. So I'm going to try that flavor out. I also picked up some salsa. Everyone's always talking about this garlic chipotle salsa and how good it is. So I want to try that out. And to go with that, I did get some fall tortilla chips. Nothing special. They are just regular corn tortilla chips, except they are fall shaped. So really cute. And then the last item I got from Trader Joe's is this Haunted House chocolate cookie kit. I'm do this with the kids once um, next week comes, probably on Friday after school. So picked them up that really cute kit. So that is everything I got from Trader Joe's. So I'll show you guys everything I got from Whole Foods now. All right, and this is everything that I got from Whole Foods. Again, it's not organized, so I apologize. But I'm gonna start off with, I guess, all the junk food. So for the kids like school snacks, I got them these chocolate chip cookie bites and it comes in like little packages. So it's easy to put in their lunch boxes. I also got them some cheese squares. Basically they're just um, the Whole Foods version of Cheez-Its. I also got my husband this chocolate like mousse cake. He's gotten it before and he really likes it. So I grabbed him that. I also got a case of strawberries. I probably should have grabbed two because we go through them quickly, but I only grabbed one. The kids are out of their jelly for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, so I grabbed one jar of that. I also found these gummy fruits, and they are Halloween themed, so I thought that would be fun for them for a sweet treat. And they also are just like in individual bags. Just some blueberry granola bars. And then for myself, I did get a few snacks, well, a lot of snacks. I got these dark chocolate covered caramels. I've never tried this. I have tried this brand of chocolate, but never this. So I grabbed that and it's only one gram of sugar for each serving. And I also grabbed this love corn and this is smoked barbecue. I've had just the regular sea salt one. It's really good. So I want to try the barbecue one. And then I've never seen sour cream and onion in these, um, protein chips. I always get the buffalo or the barbecue, but I've never seen cheddar and sour cream. So I want to try that out. And then I also want to try this out and they are pretty much cheese puffs, um, but like a healthier version of cheese puffs. So I've tried this brand before and I think in their popcorn it's pretty good. So I'm going to try that out. Yeah. Showed you guys all that. And then I got two bars for myself. This one is a coconut energy bar by pure bliss. So we'll see how that is. And then this one also looked really good. There you go, now it's focused better and it's a hemp bar. So we'll see how that is. I also got the kids their bread. This is the bread I usually always get them from Kroger and Whole Foods had it, so I grabbed it. I got myself some salad. I haven't been eating salad as much as I usually do. So I picked up a small thing of salad. I got some asparagus. We do have some veggies still left in the fridge. We have like green beans and Brussels sprouts and broccoli. So I didn't pick up much, I only picked up asparagus. And then some baby carrots. The kids love baby carrots. Mandarin oranges. I also want to try this out. This is pulled pork barbecue. I've had this brand as well in their burgers and they're good, but I've never tried their pulled pork. So I'm going to try that out. I also got the kids some more waffles for quick breakfast in the morning. Some Fuji apples. These yogurt packs are the best because they're very easy to just throw in the kids' lunchbox. So I got them the strawberry banana one. I also just got the kids some string cheese. They love string cheese, mozzarella cheese, because Ryan loves when I make him like homemade pizza quesadillas. So I grabbed some more cheese for that. I also grabbed this mac and cheese so I can make really quickly, honestly, now for lunch before I go head out to get the kids. I also got this Korean barbecue style chicken and it looks really good. So that's another quick um, dinner that we can do. We just have to cook a side. Got some eggs. I also got this Chicken Plus Dinosaur Chickens. Again, a quick lunch for the kids. And then the last two items is just one case of chicken because we do have a lot of meat still in the freezer. And then my husband really likes these coconut breaded chicken breast tenders. So I grabbed him a box of that. So that is everything that I got from Whole Foods. Like I said, we still have a ton um, of food in the fridge. So that's all I needed to get for this hey friends, week. So honestly, it is an entire week later and I never filmed myself cleaning off the fridge. I completely forgot that I wanted to add the second half of this Sprouts, or not Sprouts, this Trader Joe's haul. I wanted for it to be a haul and also a fridge clean out. 
but I completely forgot about that. So I'm just gonna have this as a Trader Joe's grocery haul, even though I mentioned in the earlier clips that this was going to be um, also a fridge clean out. So I do apologize about that, but I hope you guys still enjoyed my small Trader Joe's haul. Um, I'll probably be going back to Trader Joe's soon once we get back from vacation. And then maybe if you guys would like me to include a fridge clean out and like organize, I can do that. I can remember to do it like on the same day. I'll try to do like the grocery shopping in the morning. So once I get back, I can do it. Cause I know the day that I did this um, Trader Joe's haul, I was on a time crunch and I had to rush to get the kids from school. So that's why I couldn't do it the same day. So let me know if that's something you guys are interested in or let me know if you guys would like me to go to Sprouts instead. I like Sprouts and I like Trader Joe's. So let me know if you guys want me to go back to Trader Joe's to another grocery haul or go to Sprouts next time. And that'll be the next grocery store that I'll go and show you guys everything that I picked out. But I wanted to go ahead and close out this grocery haul. If you guys enjoyed it, remember to give my video a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. Also guys, leave some video recommendations down below because it's hard for me to figure out what you guys really like because some of my cleaning videos do really good, some of my hauls do really good, and then other days, those same exact videos don't do so good. So let me know in the comments what you guys want to see more often, and I will film that for you guys. Anyways, I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.